Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom King Thistle's New Clothes King Thistle's New Clothes Today's adventure starts out at the little castle. King and Queen Marigold are coming to the little castle today, but Queen Thistle is worried. They are very fashionable, she warns the king. I don't want them to think we look scruffy. King Thistle looks very scruffy. His clothes are covered in splodges and cake crumbs. That's why I have ordered the elf tailor to make you some new clothes, says the queen. While King Thistle has a bath, the elf tailor arrives with the new clothes. Wow! Oh, very nice, says Nanny Plum. Oh, please don't prod it, cries the elf tailor. This is a very delicate fabric. Which means you must not clean it with magic, he warns them as he leaves. Queen Thistle thinks she can see a speck of dirt on the new clothes. She brushes the fabric with a feather duster, but it leaves a big dirty mark. Mammy, cries Princess Holly, you've made Daddy's new clothes dirty. <coughs> Nanny Plum has an idea. There's nothing clothes like better than a good hot spopy wash, she says merrily. <laughs> Nanny Plum puts the new clothes in the washing machine. Holly goes to collect the king's scruffy old clothes too. <laughs> We're going to wash all your clothes, she tells King Thistle. OK, says the king, singing happily from the bath. Holly, Ben and Nanny Plum wait by the washing machine until they hear ding. Finished, sings Holly. But when Nanny takes out the clothes, they've all shrunk. Oh dear. Maybe when the clothes are dry, they'll go back to their normal size, suggests Ben. Yes, Ben. I'll just do a simple spell to dry them, says Nanny. She waves the magic wand. Abracadabra, make clothes dry, thunder and lightning, flame and fire. Oh no, the elf tailor said not to use magic. And now the clothes are burnt. Oh no! But Holly has one more idea. We can make magical clothes, cries Holly. <coughs> First, Nanny Plum needs something shoe-shaped to turn into shoes. Oh! Carrots, says Ben. Nanny waves her magic wand and pop! The carrots turn into a special new shoes. Wow. Then she makes a jacket from a tomato and a crown from a lemon. While King Thistle gets changed, Nanny Plum, Ben and Holly go to meet King and Queen Marigold. King Thistle won't be a moment. He's just changing into his new clothes, says Nanny Plum. Oh. New clothes, says King Marigold excitedly. That sounds interesting. Wow. Soon King Thistle appears. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic, gasps King Marigold. So fresh and exciting, oh, marvels Queen Marigold. They love the king's outfit. What a relief. But then the clothes start making a strange sound. Pop, pop. King Thistle's shoes have turned back into carrots. Oh. The jacket is a tomato again. Crown changes into a lemon. Oh, I see, gasp King and Queen Marigold. Silly daddy, cries Holly. There's a lemon on your head. <laughs> King and Queen Marigold don't think King Thistle looks silly. They love his new clothes even more. Wow. I have never seen 
anything like it. Absolute genius, says King Marigold. <coughs> King Thistle just looks a bit confused. <coughs> then his tummy rumbles. It's time for dinner. <coughs> I can make anything you like, says Nanny. As long as you don't want carrots, tomatoes or lemons. <laughs> Goodbye for now. The end. Hi right, kids, did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more! <laughs>